Hello Spunkers, today we're going to discuss the more advanced piece of getting data from your network switch into the home monitor app. So as we discussed before, originally we got the data from the modem, router, or firewall via syslog into our Splunk server. But today we're going to focus on getting the data from the network switch, uh, primarily wire data, using a span port. Now most managed switches allow this ability to essentially mirror all the traffic to one port. When we do that, we can then plug in a Linux box, Windows server, whatever you want, and have it listen to that particular span port. When you do that, Splunk Stream is able to decode the data off the wire and then send it via port 9997 as a typical Splunk forwarder into your Splunk server. This allows you to see things such as DNS, TCP, UDP traffic, and if you want, you can also see SSL traffic, assuming that you want to decode it, you can do that within the configurations of Splunk Stream. This is a very powerful way of understanding the traffic that's going on inside your network. Uh, you can see things such as DNS hosts, uh, you can see where people are going, and the frequency that certain devices on your network are reaching out to the internet. So, hope you find that valuable. Thanks.